Mr. Gendron, please stand. There is no place for you or your ignorant, hateful, and evil ideologies in a civilized society. There can be no mercy for you, no understanding, no second chances. The damage you have caused is too great, and the people you have hurt are too valuable to this community. You will never see the light of day as a free man ever again. It is the judgment of this court for your conviction under the first count of the indictment, a domestic act of terrorism motivated by hate in the first degree, an A1 felony, that you be sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. Under the second count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of Roberta Drury, a vibrant 32-year-old young woman, a daughter, a dedicated sister, and friend, I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the third count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of 67-year-old Hayward Patterson, a son, father, and friend, known as a faithful, hardworking, generous, well-dressed man, I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the fourth count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of 77-year-old Pearl Young, a daughter, mother, grandmother, and friend, known for being a loving, dedicated substitute teacher, I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the fifth count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of 86-year-old Ruth Whitfield, a daughter, sister, wife, mother, and grandmother, a dedicated caretaker, an avid fisherwoman, and a valued member of her church community. I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the sixth count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of Celestine Cheney, a daughter, sister, mother, aunt, grandmother, and friend, a fighter who at 65 had beat cancer and multiple aneurysms, a person who enjoyed life and laughed easily. I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the seventh count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of Aaron Salter, age 55, a son, brother, husband, and father, a car guy, and a lover of camping, a retired Buffalo police officer, heroic and selfless to the very end. I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the eighth count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of 53-year-old Andre McNeil, a son, brother, uncle, father, and fiance, devoted Miami Heat fan, survived by a three-year-old son. I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the ninth count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of Margus Morrison, age 52, a son, brother, husband, and father, 
He loved music and sneakers. I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the 10th count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of 72-year-old Catherine Massey, Cat, a daughter, sister, aunt, and friend, an activist known for her sincerity, thoughtfulness, and honesty. I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Under the 11th count of the indictment, murder in the first degree, for the murder of Geraldine Talley, age 62, a daughter, mother, and aunt, the life of the party, and a top-notch baker. I am imposing a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. By operation of law, the sentences on counts 2 through 11 must run concurrently with the sentence imposed on the first count. Under the remaining counts of the indictment to which you pled, the law permits me, based on your age, to consider granting you youthful offender status. The purpose of youthful offender status under the law is to prevent the stigmatization of young offenders based on hasty and thoughtless acts, and to provide them a fresh start <clears throat> and a renewed opportunity to be a law-abiding, productive member of society. However, given the manner in which you methodically planned, researched, conducted recognizance, and executed your hateful crimes, a finding of youthful offender status is not appropriate. There has, was nothing hasty or thoughtless about your conduct. There are no mitigating factors to be considered. You will be sentenced as an adult on the remaining counts. Under the 22nd count of the indictment, attempted murder in the first degree, for the attempted murder of 20-year-old Zaire Goodman, a beloved son, a hardworking young man of character. I am imposing the maximum determinant sentence of 25 years, followed by five years of post-release supervision. I direct this sentence to run consecutively to all other sentences imposed. Under the 23rd count of the indictment, attempted murder in the first degree, for the attempted murder of 55-year-old Christopher Braden, a son, father, husband, and friend, a professional serving the needs of the good people of the city of Buffalo, I am imposing the maximum determinant sentence of 25 years, followed by five years of post-release supervision. I direct this sentence to run consecutively to all other sentences imposed. Under the 24th count of the indictment, attempted murder in the first degree for the attempted murder of Jennifer Warrington, age 50, daughter, mother, wife, friend, a professional serving the needs of the good people of the city of Buffalo. I am imposing the maximum determinant sentence of 25 years followed by five years of post-release supervision. I direct this sentence to run consecutively to all other sentences imposed. Under the 25th count of the indictment, criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree, I am imposing the maximum determinant sentence of 15 years followed by five years of post-release supervision. I direct this sentence to run consecutively to all other sentences imposed. I am assessing the mandatory surcharge of $300, the crime victim assistance fee of $25, and a DNA fee of $50. You have 30 days.
to appeal the sentence of this court. This concludes these proceedings, and the court will stand in recess.